Okay, so here we have the Transfer Express. So this is a new accessory that we're going to be releasing Focus for mobile users. So you can see that first it has a USB input and then it has a hub built in. So automatically you just get some additional USB 3 ports. But what makes it special is actually this connection right here and this switch. Now first you're going to be able to quickly and easily transfer files from let's say like a smartphone, a tablet or a notebook to another uh, device that's attached. And you can use the USB 3 bus to go ahead and complete those transfers if the device supports that. Another function would be that if you attach this to a mobile device, you can output the display from that device to a connected display of another device. You also have input mapping, which means that you can use a keyboard and a mouse from that device to control that other uh, device in, in that regard. So there's a, a lot of cool little functionality that you have in this unit. We're going to be uh, releasing this probably in around uh, the end of the Q1 time frame. Uh, right now the MSRP is not set, um, so uh, make sure and stay tuned for local pricing in terms of that. So going back into some of the usage examples that you might have, first and foremost, like we noted, uh, you can do transfer in terms of from one point to another point. So once again, you would have your input, uh, you would go ahead and connect your device here, and you could go ahead and easily transfer files instead of having to use uh, Wi-Fi or having to use a network connection, can, which can have varying levels of performance. It's an easy way to be able to transfer files, especially if you do a lot of photography or video. Um, the other option would be switching monitors. So once again, if we go ahead and connect to here, uh, we have, our let's say, our smartphone or our tablet enabled you can easily go ahead and switch the displays from either that device to the other or you can output the display to another connected display. And also in that same regard you have that flexibility of being able to use a keyboard and a mouse to be able to control the interface. So especially if you're using uh, newer Fire Explorers uh, for things like the Android operating system or Windows Mobile or any type of uh, mobile operating system, it can be very convenient to be able to go ahead and use a mouse and a keyboard to be able to navigate and be able to edit files and be able to go ahead and readjust and relocate any type of files throughout the operating system environment. So some pretty cool functionality that you have available to you there.